we have some breaking news coming in and um, we have been telling you this from uh, uh, from day one folks and uh, we're the probably the first one to bring you this information this morning I don't know maybe some other uh, YouTube channels has got it but um, folks the CIA NATO special forces have been operating in Ukraine from day one we planned this whole operation we provoked it and now uh, according to the latest information from Jen Stalenberg, who actually made the announcement that NATO is going to be sending 300,000 soldiers or more or more into the European theater uh, almost immediately. So this is what they've been waiting for. This is what they've been salivating for for many, many years to confront Russia directly. And it looks like we're going to get our World War III. Uh, you know, all of you guys have been waiting on World War III. Well, it's here, and it's uh, it has started four months ago. And we also have some breaking news that uh, Ukraine, under the direction of United States Special Forces, have hit Russian bases uh, in Ukraine and destroyed a lot of Russian equipment, killed a lot of Russian soldiers. So, um, Vladimir Putin was rushed to the Kremlin uh, Saturday night. I think it was Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night. And uh, all of these latest developments uh, are leading folks to the last war. Well, getting close to the last war. That uh, this is it, folks. World War Three is officially uh, on. And I don't know how long it's going to last conventionally. But our CIA, I'm going to read you a series of articles stating that our CIA has been active uh, long before the war started. They have been training Ukrainian soldiers. They have set up a network uh, of spies uh, and logistics uh, running the war, folks. We have been fighting the war for Ukraine. Don't, uh, don't believe this propaganda that this is uh, Ukraine fighting Russia. This is the United States of America and NATO fighting Russia through Ukraine. Ukraine is nothing but a proxy army. We are using Ukraine to fight Russia, folks. This is it. This is the war that the world has been waiting on for the last 50 years. A war, direct war between Russia and the United States and NATO. This is it. And Ukraine is just the vehicle that we're using to do this, folks. Uh, Ukraine is not fighting. We're, we're giving Ukraine weapons, billions of dollars. Our special forces are operating all of these high-tech military equipment that we're sending into Ukraine. Folks, it's not the Ukrainian. Don't believe the friggin' lie that, uh, that we're training uh, the Ukrainians to, to do this, folks. Our special forces have been operating. That is why Russia lost so many troops and tanks at the beginning of the war uh, when they were uh, putting a siege around Kiev it was our special forces our Navy SEALs our Green Berets uh, all of our special forces that was inflicting the majority of the damage uh, to the Russian forces folks and Russia knows this and once this really kicks off then all bets are off you're going to see slaughter on a humongous scale Folks, we have been using the last four months to send in troops, to send in equipment to Europe, non-stop, non-stop across the United States. There has been reports of train tracks going solid, military equipment being flown into Europe. All of this equipment, the $56 billion aid package for Ukraine that Joe Biden had signed about three weeks ago is for a war between NATO and the United States and Russia, folks. This is it. I told you, every video that we do, we are living in the end times. And if you wait to get your life straight, you better hurry up. Because those playing around with their salvation, folks, if we end up in a full nuclear war, then hundreds of millions of people around the world especially in Russia and the United States and Europe, will be killed within a matter of hours. You're not going to have a time to do a deathbed, a deathbed repentance. You're not going to have time to get right with God because in an instant it could all be over. 
because everything that you know in this world could be over in a matter of seconds. Folks, we are living in the end times. The world is never, ever, ever going back to normal. Things are going to escalate on an exponential basis from now on. This does not even include when China launches an attack against Taiwan, folks. And I do believe that Russia will go ahead and tell their Asian partners in China, go ahead and launch your attack. And I do believe that Russia will tell Iran to go ahead and launch an attack against Israel. And I do believe that Russia and China will tell North Korea, go ahead and launch a full attack on South Korea, folks. Because when this war kicks off, this will be a multi-dimensional war. It will be around the world. We won't only be fighting Russia. We're going to be fighting China. We're going to be fighting Iran. We're going to be fighting uh, North Korea. And all of the enemies are lining up right now for the last battle. And this will eventually lead to the Battle of Armageddon.